Now, uh, Nigeria's uh, new president, Muhammadu Buhari, uh, met his regional counterparts in Abuja on Thursday to set up a joint military force against Boko Haram. It is the latest sign of his intent to crush the Islamist militant group early in his tenure. Uh, the 72-year-old former military ruler, who was inaugurated just two weeks ago, invited the leaders of neighboring Chad, Niger, and Benin for the impromptu one-day summit in Abuja. The issue of terrorism is the subject of the annual Wallace Inca lecture series being held Friday just outside Washington, D.C. For more about the lecture series, we are joined by Ifeani Onoche, President, National Association of uh, Sea Dogs. Mr. Onoche, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Yes, now, first, uh, how about you tell us a little bit about Sea Dogs? What is this uh, an, an association all about? Thank you, Vincent. Um, the National Association of Sea Dogs Paris Confraternity it can be best described as a, a civil society organization made up of professionals from all walks of life mm -hmm. who are deeply committed, committed to the attainment of a just society, mm -hmm. rooted in the strict observance of the rule of law and um, mm -hmm. all interventions they can make in every sphere of life to make living more palatable and improved yeah. for and, uh, that society. looks like uh, it really fits into the fight and struggle to bring justice and the rule of law in northeastern Nigeria. Uh, the uh, Wale Shoinka lecture series is focusing on this particular uh, issue this year. Uh, tell us what is the approach? What is the purpose? Well, this is the 18th in the series, and um, the theme is uh, escalating fundamentalism terrorism and insecurity in sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. economic development and the imperatives of building strong democratic institutions. It's been um, a malaise or um, a disturbance that has been observed. Now, it's no longer localized in a particular region of the world. You find ISIS in Iraq and uh, Syria. You find Al-Shabaab in Kenya and Somalia. And you have Boko Haram, not only in Nigeria, but you find it in parts of Cameroon, Niger, and Chad. So it's become kind of a, a global malaise, which calls mm -hmm. for concerted effort. Now, you know, many times people say a lot of time in this world is spent talking. Uh, in this particular lecture series, what, 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 is, uh, what can be achieved through uh, this kind of conversations? I mean, what hasn't been said up to this point? Yes, um, there's no limit to the awareness one can create. And every platform that can be utilized must in order to create the awareness and make the people become more aware of the need for a concerted effort to be made towards taking care of this particular um, disturbance. Because it's become so um, fortunate that everyone living in their homes are insecure. They don't know what's going to happen the next minute. There are bombings mm -hmm. everywhere. So it is important. Yeah. and. Uh, we're going to have the lecture delivered by a former U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, yeah. Dr. Robin Sanders. Yes, I She's know. She's going to do justice to that yeah. theme. So. Now, uh, tell me, what, what do you think uh, didn't work and uh, the, uh, the government of uh, Mr. Goodlike Jonathan that could work this time under uh, President Buhari? Well, the, the mantra now, per se, in Nigeria is change. So I believe that um, what... The former president, good luck Jonathan, failed to do is what we expect the, the newly inaugurated uh, president, Mohammed Buhari, to do. And he started off by moving the command base of the military to the northeastern part of Nigeria where we have this uh, problem very uh, prominent. Mm -hmm. So we hope that if such effort is made, but he needs to change tactics, this involves something um, more of intelligence. Because what, when you're fighting insurgency, it's not the regular um, kind of warfare. It requires more of in, um, intelligence. Mm -hmm. So we expect more of that to come from the approach this time yeah. around so that yeah. we can have a different result. Thank you, and we hope that uh, everybody will be paying attention, including the government in Abuja. We believe yeah, that Thanks will. a lot, uh, Mr. Onoche. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Efeanyi Onoche is the president of the National Association of Sea Dogs. And thanks uh, for joining us. Uh